the dangerous Couturier getting a chance going in on goal. Let it fly, and Pasquale made two saves off him. For Will O'Neill, O'Neill in for Johnny Albert. Albert in behind the goal. Wraparound attempt. Loose puck down there for Bermistrov. Well, this is looking for loose puck. Here's a chance down low for Harper. And Eddie Pasquale with a brilliant save. Still has it and can't get a shot. Another drive. Pasquale looks behind him and makes a miraculous save. They're back to the point for Gustafson. Here's a drive and Eddie's kept that one too. Left to Monroe and comes in front of the net. Here's Johnny Albert and back. Faceoff did it himself, unassisted at 12.54 of the opening period. And the St. John's ice cap open up a one to nothing lead. He was flat out gone. Here's a chance at the side of the goal. They chip away it, and it's news down there. 7.43 of the second period. Called by referee Terry Koharski. Rowe is in, and Pasquale makes the save on the penalty Time here and behind the goal. Here's Kalegan still looking for it. First goal, goal, and there it is. He scores. Ivan Kalegan makes it 2 0 St. John. He's not high like real stuff, but it's in behind Scott Monroe. Albert trying to negate. Here's a shot. They score. It's Brandon Manning with those Newfoundland ties, and he blistered it by Eddie Pasquale. A power play goal for the Phantoms. Now for Johnson. Here's a feed in front. What a save there by Pasquale. And now they score. Harper on a turnover. The Ice Caps have just popped one up. And Shane Harper throws it home and ties the score at 2 2. Beach continues on. Derek Beach playing it back for Maxwell. He shot. Oh, he fired it over top of the goal. He had Monroe going the other way. Loose puck in the slot area. Mason Hour turned and fired. Here's Trombley. In front for Mahajic. They bang away at it, but they can't stick it home. Harper trying to spring Johnston. Here's Johnston getting in, and Pasquale slammed the door on an opportunity there. Now two back one, there one, they back. come, two on one. Here's an opportunity. Dragging a shot, they score. It's a 3 2 lead for the Adirondack Phantoms as the Ice Caps had a four on two. Couldn't get a shot on goal. They give one up here with 7.54 left in the third period. Here's Shen inside the ice cap zone to the outside. He lets one fly. Can they score? Braden Shen on a tough angle shot that Eddie Pasquale misplayed. And the Adirondack Phantoms have got a two-goal lead here. Back in the middle for Redmond. Still no shot. He'll go here for O'Neill. Burmistrop. Redmond a shot. Score! Redmond let it rip, a power play goal at 16.02 of the third period. It's a one goal hockey game. Maxwell getting it back for Meach, only eight seconds left. Here's Maxwell in the middle for Derek Meach, for Redmond, back door feed all in for Meach drop. We'll bump on it and the Game is over. No, yeah, I mean it's always good uh, when you're down a few goals to uh, you know, get get a good power play there at the end, and then you know push for that last one. Um, you know we were working hard at the end of the game, and unfortunately we came short. Uh, you know what? I don't think we look good tonight. We just have one goal in the power play. I don't know how many chances we have today. We have to score lots of goals. You know we have uh, lots of good players here. Everybody can shoot. Everybody can pass. So we have to score more goals. You know, I thought uh, we fed off the the energy in the building yesterday for the uh, for the start of the game. Uh, you know, there's a drop off there also, but uh, but again, just realizing that you have to make sure that you're not giving the other team any kind of life to start the game. Uh, I thought that two goal lead. I thought that was almost a, a false sense of security for us. Uh, and after that, uh, you know, we couldn't get the game back in the second period. Uh, you know, they hemmed us in our own zone for long periods of time. We couldn't uh, support pucks well, couldn't get out of our zone. And uh, some plays, uh, you know, low percentage plays where we turn pucks over and they're in the, uh, the back of our net. Uh, you know, it all balances out. I'm, I'm never going to make, you know, I'm never going to 
make excuses for if we're missing this guy or that guy. It's the nature of the business with uh, the American Hockey League. Uh, you know, with the reason I look at those rushes, you know, when we had some rushes and that, uh, is we were gambling on pucks when we did get opportunities off the rush. It was because we were cheating the system. I, I didn't find that we came out of our own zone well enough or clean enough to uh, to come up the ice as a full unit. So uh, I thought that's something that uh, one of the reasons why we struggled to have any kind of pressure. That 